What you doing, dude? Getting decapitated? Awesome. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome to Rip Tail, my absolute newest indie love. It is just so twitchy and delicious, and the controls just so tight. Let's check out the intro right quick. And, uh, you can see I'll, we're playing as a little boy with a pot on his head, which is always a fantastic thing. <laughs> Crisis! When the old land of the old sea unveiled the darkness dwelling below the dragons. And you can see that red is the only color that's actually uh, colored in, which I think is super sweet. Beasts! Too mighty for regular weapons to defy. Ooh, look at that Marfolo. Only a skilled warrior could utilize the astral gems. It's kind of like a story about my uncle, no? <laughs> at least the gems. That power attacks deadly enough. Look at that shit! Wow! To bring down the source of this evil. What a little badass. I don't know if it's a grown-up or a kid. I like to think it's a kid. For good. That's right. I'm the one. I'm the one who's going to do this for good. So, um... You got three crystals on the top that uh, designate how many slashes you can make in midair. You do have a jump, but it's not uh, extremely strong. Lots of unlockables in this game. Um, you can see I'm wearing a gray scarf instead of the red one that was shown in the intro. So, super, super nice. We're in the Mushroom Caverns now, which is uh, a stage that is only unlocked after you beat the Catacombs. Basically, there's uh, two different stages, Mist Woods and the Catacombs, that you can start out in. Uh, and then once you beat the Catacombs, you start uh, seeing other stages, such as the Mushroom Cavern. So now, now I have three different stages to start off on. And um, the bosses are extremely difficult. Um, probably the level is the most difficult thing of all, though. It's, it's extremely hard to get to the bosses at all. I've seen the uh, boss of the Mushroom Forest one time before, I think, and I got my ass destroyed in like less than 10 seconds. You've only got four hearts. Um, on hard, hard mode, you only have one heart, so definitely not an easy game to get through, but definitely something that I enjoy. Um, I probably should be collecting more coins and things like that because you can exchange your your gems out at a shop if you have enough money. They've got like a double attack, triple attack, um, saw attack, and homing attack, and a quick dash attack. All of those are really, really awesome. Um, quick dash is just what it sounds like. It recharges super fast. And um, you can slice through multiple enemies at one time. You won't end up stopping, which is really... Pretty, pretty useful uh, in my experience. Homing attack, just what it sounds like. You uh, home in on the nearest enemy, which you'd think that, oh, if I have three of those, then I don't have to aim at all, and that's super good, but it's not, because you end up um, basically getting fucked uh, by the AI. Oh my god, I ran out of crystals. Gotta keep an eye on my crystals. So yeah, if you want to jump up, uh, sometimes the AI is like, no, you have to go this way with the homing attack, so that's not always the most beneficial thing. Triple slash, double slash, uh, just what they sound like. It's basically the same as the straight attack that I'm using now, except a little bit. Um, you got the slashes in between, which don't make that much of a difference in my experience. Saw attack, you basically bounce up and down, which I think is super, super nice. Um, it's also the most expensive gem, so presumably the most useful, but um, yeah, in my experience, it's it's not always uh, completely worth it. One thing I will complain about is um, the, the, the background being all black and white uh, is extremely hard to tell where you're allowed to go. Order of the Wilds proud to present an addendum to the list of things that must be preserved to uphold the integrity of the nature. The nature, right. <laughs> Items include barrels, rocks, armadillos, wool, nails, and fine sand. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Nails and armadillos, it's on the fucking list. I don't know what any of these books mean. Hopefully one day we'll get like a wiki or something and uh, I'll be able to sit down and find out what all this lore is all about. But at the moment, ooh, another book. How nice. Meister Bebos is a pragmatist. To him, numbers don't lie. Maybe a more nourishing diet could rekindle the fertility of the old oligarchy. He doesn't understand the yearn for superficial improvements. Maybe he's the wisest of us all. I don't know who Master Bemos is. Yeah, it's it's really strange. Uh, most of the characters that are mentioned in the in the logs aren't mentioned in other logs. At least not that I found. 
Maybe I'll start drawing some lines eventually, but I've only been uh, playing this game for a day. I've been, I've been at it for about six hours, so I don't suck as bad as I used to, but I still suck pretty bad. <laughs> Dodge that uh, onion ring of death, so we'll just continue on to the next room. And look at that. Look at that fucking dragon. He's shooting fireballs everywhere, bro. What you doing, dude? Getting decapitated? Awesome. <laughs> this game is so nice. I love the blood effects, uh, especially with the black and white. I guess it's called Undertale, or Riptail, because it's a... Uh, sort of stolen its art style from Undertale. Not really though, Undertale had a lot of color in it. This game does not so much, but uh, yeah. If it was inspired by Undertale, then big ups to Undertale. Uh, not a game that I found myself to be partial to, basically because it's a little bit slow. Um, but this game, holy shit, I, I can't get enough. It's absolutely fantastic. Really, really likable, um, in my opinion at least. If it looks like something that you'd enjoy, it is. Uh, the controls are extremely tight, I've not had any complaints about that so far. Um, yeah, my only complaint has been some of the objects in the background, like that throne, look like you should be able to jump on top of them. Hopefully there's uh, an unlockable screen filter, ooh look a shop, that will uh, make things kind of real life-ish. Oh, look at this, this is the triple attack. We got 300, we could get two of those. But we could also get the quick draw attack, which is uh, a little more tempting to me. So I like the quick draw attack. I'll put it in the first slot, which is on the right. Uh, right to left seems a little counterintuitive, but it be what it be. And we'll put the triple attack just in there. And uh, I'll try and show it off. I don't know if it's going to work in such a small area. Well, you saw the triple attack pretty good, I guess. Oh, so there's uh, some replacement of gems. That is one thing that is nice. Um, there's also challenges and things which I hope we'll be able to see, and then there's, um, like these mysterious stones that will change up your powers. One is called Steal Your Precision, uh, S-T-E-E-L, Your Precision, and it basically caps your life at only two hearts, but you're also able to, um, jump through the air six times. You get six crystals instead of only the three, which is really nice, but, um, only if you're super good at the game. I don't like running around with two hearts personally, so I generally don't touch those stones when I find them. But um, who knows? You know, it could be an awesome thing um, if you're really good at the game. Uh, I think I've got to increase my skills just a little bit more. You may be noticing now that I have the quick, quick draw attack that um, I'm basically dashing through enemies instead of stopping on them, which is really, really sweet. Um, unfortunately, you don't get the little pause that comes. Ooh, there's some more. New, uh, new gem, double side attack. That's a pretty expensive one. Can't really buy that one. Oh well, whatever. This is the one I already have, too. Yep, I already got all this. I would replace the middle gem with the double side attack, but, um, don't have enough coins at the moment. I don't think, uh, there's enough in this room to get enough coins, so... I will put it out of my mind. We'll just go ahead and try, but, yeah. Nothing, nothing doing. And you can't go back through the level, you can't like jump up and go back to that part. Ooh, another shop! Holy shit, we are laden with shops. This is the saw attack, 1000 gems, or 1000 gold seems like quite a lot. But ooh, a second quick draw attack, mmm, I could enjoy that. And the razor petal gem is obviously increasing in price as we go further into the dungeon. I'm gonna go ahead and quick two of these quick draw attacks. Which I think should be pretty good, I haven't tried it out before, but uh, I am a fan of the quick draw attack, so we'll see how it goes, hopefully not too terribly, and I just uh, ended up getting fucked up. You see that? Dashing right through, oh my god. It's it's just amazing. Ah, oh, the customization in this game tickles me pink. Let's see what this says. It seems there were more survivors than we first anticipated. We found a way to another watchtower. The first one's starting to fill up fast. No one knows what happens. The darkness feels crushing. Is it possible for us to build a new life here? Yes, it is. It's possible to build a life anywhere. Are you going to enjoy yourself? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about, dude. I'm just trying to be encouraging, you know? I'm trying to be your bro here. I'm your friend out here, guy! Hey, can't you see? So, um, yeah, I'm trying to make sure my crystals are filled before I get into combat, because that is 
One of the, the newbie mistakes that I made was just uh, dashing into combat without any crystals or using my crystals too fast before they refill. Um, I think killing enemies and getting combos refills your crystals faster. It also makes more coins drop, so it is an extremely important thing to master. Oh god, I've only got two hearts now. I don't like this at all. Uh, I get so nervous when I only got two hearts. Fuck. I get even more nervous when I only have one heart, but I start freaking out at two hearts. Um, basically because I become an absolute spastic when I only have one heart, and I end up usually dying in uh, no time at all. So we'll, we'll recharge just a little bit, wait for that onion ring. There we go. Very nice. I was hoping we'd see a little boss boss action down here, but it uh, doesn't seem like that's going to happen yet. Now I got one heart. Okay. Breathe deep. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be super cool. We're, we're the best at this game ever. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. I basically could have died right there. Oh my god. Another shop. Please, give me some respite. A little bit of respite. Oh, another quick draw. You know what? I'm going to replace my triple attack with this. Why not? And then, uh, yeah, I'm not going to have any of that slowdown or time for planning. But you know what? That's going to be just fine. We're going to be fucking awesome. I'm so sure of it. Cut this onion ring up. And yeah, I just like the quick draw because uh, you're able to get through multiple enemies at one time. You don't just hit one and then slow down. You will uh, kill the enemies near that enemy with your sword, but um, I find it much more useful to keep on going. Keep on trucking right through all the enemies that are in that line. Uh, and for the extremely cheap price, yeah, it, it can't be beat, you know? Look at that. Fuck. I would have had to take two swings to get those two enemies because they were so far apart. But not with quick draw attack. Ba-boom! Three times combo! Yay, quick draw! So, probably my favorite... Oh, fuck. <laughs> There's a, a little bit of health down there, but it's only one heart. I'm gonna need a lot more than that. Alright. We could have been at three hearts, but I took a hit, so... It be what it be. We'll just have to continue being careful. Boom. Decapitate a dragon. Fuck. It's just so awesome. <laughs> I absolutely love Riptail. This game was developed by a, a developer called Super God. And I will, I will give him props, he's definitely deserving of that name. You know, I might be a little insulted if, uh, if it was a piece of shit game, but no, it's, it's fantastic. And here are the twins, Coriol Fire Guardians that beat my ass last time, so let's see if uh, we can do something a little different this time. And there's uh, a couple hits, I don't know if you have to kill them together or what the deal is, I've only seen them once, and uh... Yeah, I'm hoping I can get a little a little more experience, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Anyways, friends, this has been Riptail. If you'd like to see some more, please do let me know, because I would be more than happy to uh, bring you guys some more. This game is definitely one of my indie gems that I have found, and I definitely appreciate the developer for hitting me up on Keymailer, letting me know that it exists. I am not disappointed, and uh, this game definitely deserves a lot more exposure than it's gotten so far. So share with your friends, let everybody know that it's out there, because it's definitely deserving of just a few dollars. Uh, visit the Steam link in the description if it looks like something that you would enjoy. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe on this episode as well uh, if you found my commentary in any way helpful, because that always helps the channel to get out there and uh, motivates me to find some more indie gems just like this one. So, friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so, so much for watching. This has been Riptail. I hope to see you guys in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.